Tribe, I become invincible with my 10,000 times bonus from the start. Chapter 291, Breaking into the Zhang Group's Headquarters FCK, he really is Zhang Shuetter's effing boyfriend. When did Zhang Shuetter get a boyfriend? How do I not know? She hasn't been to school for a few weeks, and a boyfriend suddenly appeared? I can't accept it. Tisk, 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 this is some juicy gossip. Hee <laughs> hee, look at this man's clothes. It's so plain. I'm afraid he's just an ordinary person, right? Sigh, so pitiful at such a young age. I'm afraid he'll be tortured to death by Zhang Fan now. When Zhang Fan heard Pearl's answer, his face naturally turned green. The woman that he, the eldest young master Zhang, had taken a fancy to had rejected him for another man. His eyes flashed with a fierce glint as he suddenly smiled and said, Hee hee, little Shwetter, you're just trying to provoke me, right? Are you deliberately using a poor boy as a shield? Pearl sighed. Why were there so many idiots nowadays? Did she need anyone to tell her whether she had found a boyfriend or not? Without saying anything, she leaned into Li Cheng's arms. Then, she stood on her tiptoes and kissed Li Cheng on the lips. A few seconds later, Pearl said to Zhang Fan with a faint blush on her cheeks, Do you believe me now? Upon seeing this scene, Zhang Fan's expression instantly turned ice cold. Li Cheng blinked. It seemed that Pearl was already adapting to the change in her identity. He naturally welcomed this. Moreover, showing off their love in front of others made him feel pretty good. At this moment, Zhang Fan said coldly, Brat, kneel down and kowtow three times immediately. After that, leave Zhang Shuetter to me and I'll let you off. Both Li Cheng and Pearl were stunned speechless. How could this person be so stupid? How did his parents raise him? Was he not too stupid to be the young master? Pearl did not react at all. After spending so many days with Li Cheng, she had a certain understanding of Li Cheng's character. This eldest young master Zhang probably would not live much longer. As expected, Pearl watched Li Cheng pick his ears as he sighed. As expected, every idiot has a good sense of self-worth. Also, did you just call my little Shwetter by her name? As soon as he finished speaking, Pearl saw Li Cheng snap his fingers. Immediately, a violent explosion was heard. Boom! Boom! The entire campus was suddenly engulfed in flames. Countless students widened their eyes, not knowing what had happened. How did the explosion happen with a snap of his fingers? Why did it seem like it was happening in a game? Instantly, the campus was filled with loud noises. All kinds of emergency personnel had arrived. After the dust settled, the students present sucked in a breath of cold air. Under the feet of everyone from the Zhang group, a large pit that was more than 10 meters deep suddenly appeared. This pit was so deep that no one could even see the bottom of it. What was even more terrifying was that other than them, no one else suffered any harm at all. This explosion's unbelievable. It doesn't feel like a bomb. I think so, too. This is different from the sound of a bomb. On the contrary, I've heard such an explosion in games. Could this be magic? Hee <laughs> hee, I think you've been gaming a little too much recently. But, there's no way to explain it. Don't you know that the end of science is metaphysics? At this time, Li Cheng had already brought Pearl to another building. Pearl was dizzy from the real-life teleportation. She seemed to be exhausted as she leaned on Li Cheng's body. After a few seconds, Pearl stabilized herself and asked, Will they discover us? Li Cheng smiled. So what if they discover us? Soon, all of these will have nothing to do with us. In the near future, they'll all get used to it. The merging of the game world and the real world was something that would happen in a few years. The people on Earth were currently oblivious. However, the current Li Cheng already had absolute power. No matter what others thought or did, he could not be bothered. At this moment, he narrowed his eyes and looked coldly at the towering building in front of him. 
This was the headquarters of the Zhang group. He extended his hand to Pearl. Let's go. It's time to put an end to this. Okay. Pearl nodded and placed her hand in his, holding it tightly. When they entered the Zhang group's territory, Li Cheng and Pearl were naturally stopped by a group of security guards. Stop. This is the headquarters of the Zhang group. You can't enter without an appointment. Li Cheng did not say much. He simply waved his hand casually. Instantly, a blazing flame appeared out of thin air. The two security guards could not even make a sound as their bodies were instantly burned into ashes. Li Cheng calmly raised his head and glanced at the surveillance camera. Since he did not plan to hide, he might as well kill them all to his heart's content. Thinking of this, he pulled the clothes on his body. In the next moment, an exquisite azure mage robe appeared. This robe was exquisitely made and it was decorated with countless sparkling purple gemstones. It was his forbidden mage robe. Then, a pitch black light flashed, as if it was going to tear the entire space apart. A strong sense of disaster and an ominous aura instantly filled the air. It was his evil god's staff. Seeing Li Cheng's change, Pearl's beautiful eyes trembled slightly as a burst of light flashed within them. Although she was already mentally prepared, she was still a little shocked when she saw all this. Moreover, when she looked at Li Cheng, there was a faint trace of fanatical worship in her eyes. In her heart, Li Cheng was extremely powerful. Li Cheng smiled and said to her, Don't resist. Pearl nodded obediently. Okay. In the next moment, the hot flaming energy instantly flowed from Li Cheng's palm and into Pearl's body. Covering her fair palm was a layer of fiery red liquid that looked like lava. Li Cheng had naturally used his SSS class skill, Command Flame. He still restricted his own strength a little. Otherwise, with his current attributes, he would probably have turned the entire building into ruins. After doing all this, Li Cheng and Pearl looked at each other and walked straight into the company's building. The Zhang group was already a giant conglomerate that spanned across countless fields. It was also one of the best in the world. Currently, only the prideful group could contend against it. On the other hand, Purple Rose did not have much of a background in reality. She was the poorest of the three big guilds. Chapter 292, Heartless War Soul? Devil? The inside of the Zhang group building was extremely luxurious. All kinds of bright lights were hanging in the hall and there were countless people who seemed pretty busy. When the people around them noticed Li Cheng and Pearl, they stopped what they were doing and looked at them curiously. Where did these two people come from? Eh, this person's so strange. Is he cosplaying? Where are the security guards? Why did they let such a person into our company? Do they not want to work anymore? Also, this girl's quite cute. How much do you think she wants for a night? What does it have to do with you? Aren't you afraid of your wife? Hee <laughs> hee, he's the kind of person whose family flags won't fall but his colorful flags are fluttering outside. Shameless. Hearing these words, Li Cheng's eyes turned cold. He had originally wanted to let these ordinary people live, but now it seemed that these people were all birds of a feather point one. Instantly, a rotating teleportation door appeared behind Li Cheng. Accompanied by a faint grey shadow, countless shadow assassins instantly appeared. With Li Cheng's current level of fusion, not to mention summoning troops and heroes, he would not have any problems if he wanted to descend from the sky. The sudden appearance of this portal shocked everyone in the building. Their eyes were wide open. Why did it look like a portal in a game? Science really could not explain the scene in front of them. Just as they were in a daze, blood started exploding everywhere in the next moment. As long as it was someone who had mocked them previously, their heads would roll to the ground. Li Cheng sneered. The humans here had yet to integrate with the game. Their physical fitness was far inferior to a tier 1 soldier. In front of the shadow assassin, they had no resistance at all. The hellish scene in front of them frightened the Zhang group employees. 
All of them were so frightened that their bodies were trembling. Some of them were so weak that they directly peed on the spot. Li Cheng coldly looked at everything in front of him. As a person who had experienced the fusion of worlds, the tragedies he had seen in the human world were countless times more terrifying than this. Let's go. Yes. Pearl nodded and led Li Cheng deeper into the building. Pearl had been secretly collecting information for so many years, so she knew a little bit about the layout of the building. After dealing with the people on the first floor, Li Cheng did not say anything else to them. Instead, he waved his hand and a burst of spatial fluctuation descended. Li Cheng brought Pearl to the 35th floor. After noticing the abnormality on the first floor, the security personnel in the building had promptly cut off the elevator power. Of course, this was completely pointless. Bang! Li Cheng casually pushed on a wall in front of him and a large hole suddenly appeared. The concrete and steel bars within it were all exposed. Only the members of the Zhang family could enter the floors above the 35th floor. This was not only an office, but also some of the Zhang family's dormitories, recreation rooms, restrooms, and so on. After the wall was broken down by Li Cheng, he saw countless men chatting leisurely inside. They were all scared out of their wits by the sudden noise. F asterisk CK, what's going on? Kid, who the F asterisk CK are you? Do you know where you are? What's going on? Did this guy bring a bomb? What are those security guards doing? Where are the security guards? Kill this brat immediately. Li Cheng coldly laughed when he saw this situation. Countless cold lights flashed and blood sprayed all over the place. The shadow assassins instantly ended their lives. Li Cheng coldly said, from this floor upward, leave no one alive. The shadow assassins were completely invisible. Even in this real world, they had a perfect invisibility effect. Killing these ordinary people was just too easy. Most of the people below the 35th floor were ordinary people. Li Cheng was not someone who would kill without reason. Hence, he skipped those floors and began to clear the floors above. At this moment, Li Cheng looked at Pearl and asked, Is this all right? Pearl held Li Cheng's hand tightly. Her expression was also conflicted. Now that revenge was already within reach, it was not difficult for the entire Zhang clan to disappear with just a thought. In the end, she slowly shook her head. Let the others go. All right, as you wish. Li Cheng nodded, causing the shadow assassins to stop their actions. His goal today was very simple. He had come to avenge Pearl. All he had to do was satisfy her wishes. Li Cheng narrowed his eyes slightly and raised his head to look at the 40th floor. That was the highest floor of the entire Zhang family building. It was also the residence of Heartless War Soul. Another burst of spatial light flashed and in an instant, they arrived at the 40th floor. However, when he looked at the door in front of him, he frowned slightly. He could feel that there seemed to be something special inside, but he did not care too much about it. Rumble. Li Cheng once again casually broke open the wall in front of him and the large room was instantly revealed. Looking at the scene inside, Li Cheng raised his eyebrows. At the end of the room, a blood-red throne appeared. On this throne, a burly man was holding his head in his arm. His eyes were filled with amusement as he looked at Li Cheng and Pearl. Hee hee, you're finally here? TVE been waiting for you for quite some time, you know. Li Cheng looked at the man on the throne. It was Heartless War Soul, who was also the head of the Zhang Corporation, Zhang Wuking. However, what made Li Cheng curious was that the man in front of him was no longer human. Two goat-like horns could be vaguely seen on Heartless War Soul's head. At the same time, his body was emitting a terrifying aura of destruction. Everything around him seemed like it would fall into an abyss at any moment. This was not the game world, so Li Cheng had no way to check on his attributes for the time being. However, Li Cheng was sure that this was definitely the aura of a demon. An extremely powerful demon at that. It was very likely a demon king. 
heartless war soul stood up slowly from his throne. He waved his hand and a few demons in suits walked out of the room. They all had dark purple skin and horns on their heads, but theirs were more eye-catching than those on Heartless War Soul. One had to know that this was the real world. If it was just two horns, no one would think much of it. However, with dark purple skin, one could tell that this person was different. He was definitely not a good person. Chapter 293 Immortal Grade Self-Destruct Li Cheng narrowed his eyes. Just the servants that Heartless War Soul had summoned were releasing a terrifyingly destructive aura. If they were in the game, they would be at least legendary bosses. These servants were respectful. They poured a glass of red wine for Heartless War Soul, who was intoxicated as he shook the tall goblet before he drank from it. He looked at Li Cheng and asked, You two, do you want a glass? Li Cheng and Pearl naturally could not be bothered to talk to him. They just looked at him quietly. Seeing that the two of them were not going to respond, Heartless War Soul did not mind them. He just drank the red wine alone and said, I didn't expect that there would be so many hidden aspects in a game, like the fusion of the game and the real world. If I didn't experience it personally, I would never believe it. Wealth, power, and status are all so elusive. Only improving one's own strength is the supreme pursuit. Li Cheng felt a little bored when he heard these words. Heartless War Soul naturally did not have the strength to fuse with reality. Li Cheng instantly understood his current state. It was likely that after he was teleported to the bottomless abyss by Li Cheng, he was used as a guinea pig by countless ancient demon kings for experiments. In the end, those demon kings found a path to Earth. Li Cheng was immersed in his memories. In his previous life, the demon invasion of Earth had also started through a player. They had hidden here for several months before they finally opened the super large teleportation door. Only then did the demons enter Earth in an endless stream. It seemed that the person leading the way in this life had changed to Heartless War Soul. However, Li Cheng smiled disdainfully. Did a demon king in God's descent really think that he was invincible? Therefore, Li Cheng could not be bothered to suppress his own power. According to this situation, if he did not make a move now, the demons would attack Earth in a few months. If Li Cheng eliminated the demons now, it could be considered as saving Earth. Li Cheng maximized the output of his magic power while secretly contacting a certain goddess. Then, Li Cheng said to Pearl, Make a move, take care of your enemy personally. Okay. Pearl's voice was slightly excited. Naturally, she had to take care of the enemy herself. She had been waiting for this moment for almost twenty years. At this moment, Pearl's entire body was covered in fiery red magical energy. With Li Cheng's current intelligence, the surging energy from the command flame that he used was definitely enough to destroy the world. Li Cheng did not say much and gave Pearl the evil god's staff. She held the pitch black staff tightly with both hands as a cold glint flashed across her beautiful eyes. With a gentle wave of her hand, a palm sized energy ball instantly shot out. However, the flying speed of the energy ball was not that fast. Meanwhile, Heartless War Soul, or rather, an immortal grade demon king, looked at the energy ball flying towards him with disdain. How could such a soft attack injure him? He stretched out his hand very pretentiously, actually wanting to catch the energy ball. Then, at the next moment, rumble, rumble, rumble. In Heartless War Soul's widened eyes, the violent and surging fire energy instantly engulfed him. For a moment, the entire top floor turned into a sea of fire. Li Cheng was incredibly amused. No matter how strong the Demon King was, he was merely a mythical great existence since he was not there in his real body. Li Cheng was able to finish him off directly, not to mention that his attack was fused with divine power. This time, Li Cheng naturally would not pay any attention to fairness. The Goddess of Space was also secretly contributing to the fight. After a few dozen seconds, the dust gradually dispersed and the sunlight poured down on them. 
Li Cheng could faintly see an extremely tall and terrifying figure. It was a tall demon with huge wings and he was staring at Li Cheng with scarlet eyes. His body was already filled with wounds, especially near his crotch. There was a huge and terrifying bloody hole. Seeing this situation, Li Cheng's eyebrows twitched. He was not dead yet. As expected of an immortal demon king. This group of demons was really hard to deal with. The demon king wiped off the black blood on his face and sneered, Human, it seems that we've underestimated you. Didn't expect you to be so adept at using the laws of this world. And the goddess of space, you actually gave up on your own neutral principles. Aren't you afraid that the god of creation will blame you? Nevertheless, all of you will end here. Die, bugs. As soon as he finished speaking, his enormous body suddenly seemed to inflate, and its volume expanded by countless times. Li Cheng's brows were tightly knitted together. Was he going to self-destruct? However, this was not the game world. If he were to self-destruct, how would those ordinary people be dealt with? Vaguely, he seemed to hear heartless war soul roaring. You effing demon, don't use my body to effing self-destruct. Li Cheng was about to ask the space goddess if he could move this demon elsewhere, but before he could ask, the goddess of space's voice rang. No, I'm not familiar with the rules of this world, not to mention that he's an immortal great existence. Without waiting for Li Cheng to speak, an earth-shattering sound instantly filled his eardrums. At the same time, pitch black energy spread out in all directions with heartless war soul as the center. Boom. 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 100 kilometers away from the point of explosion, Li Cheng squinted his eyes and looked at the terrifying explosion in front of him. If it had been a normal explosion, it would not have been able to hurt Li Cheng, with the goddess of space around, she would have been teleported away in an instant. However, even Li Cheng was shocked by the power of the explosion. Pearl, who was in his arms, widened her eyes. The explosion covered almost half of the city. At least millions of people disappeared in an instant. However, Pearl quickly calmed down. The explosion did not affect the school, which meant that her female teacher was not hurt. That was good enough for her. She and Li Cheng were the same. They were self-interested people. She had always been burdened with hatred, so she did not make any friends. Other than the female teacher, she did not care for anyone else. Within the range of their abilities, if they could save their loved ones, they would, but if they had to sacrifice themselves, they could not do it. Li Cheng did not say anything about this. He had already done what he could. Moreover, he clearly remembered that after the server had been open for five years in his previous life, the player's military strength was very strong. However, in front of the demon army, the Earth's population was still reduced by 90%. That scene was much more bloody than this. What he could do now was to gain enough power to protect the planet before the demon army arrived. Chapter 294, Identity Exposed However, such an explosion caused Li Cheng to frown. This was only an immortal demon king in God's descent. Its strength was only at the mythical grade. If it was really an immortal grade demon that self-destructed, the entire city would probably evaporate. After a wave of spatial fluctuations, the goddess of space's slender and graceful body suddenly appeared. Li Cheng looked at her and the corner of his mouth twitched. This goddess sure was acting leisurely. She actually took the time to change into an ancient era pure white dress that was fluttering in the wind. It had to be said that with her figure and perfect appearance, it was no problem to say that she looked like a fairy in the sky. Then, Li Cheng was stunned for a moment. He touched his forehead. The goddess of space in front of him. She chose to ignore Li Cheng's gaze and explained, it's an immortal grade bomb from the bottomless abyss. It's fused with several ancient demon kings and the power of an evil god. I Z. Hearing this, Li Cheng nodded. With such an explosion range, only an immortal grade bomb would have such power. As for the evil god, there were only three in the entire universe. 
Li Cheng already had an answer in his heart as to who the demon could have come into contact with. Li Cheng could not understand what was being said. He asked in puzzlement, why did this demon king self-detonate? Demon kings were different from ordinary gods. Their path to becoming a god was unique. Most of the demon kings did not have many followers, so after using god's descent, they would definitely have to pay a certain price. The goddess of space replied, he wanted to use this opportunity to open the passage between the two worlds. And in the end, Li Cheng raised his eyebrows. This made sense. I closed it, of course, the goddess of space shrugged and replied matter-of-factly. The corner of Li Cheng's mouth twitched again. She closed it casually. As expected of you. The goddess of space had controlled the power of space for tens of thousands of years. In terms of combat power, defeating a few ancient demon kings would be nothing to her. However, the passage between the bottomless abyss and earth was very fragile. After today, it instantly collapsed. Now, if the demon kings wanted to invade earth, they would have to rebuild the passage. As long as the goddess of space was here, the demon kings would never succeed in this lifetime. However, Li Cheng and her did not have this intention. What they could do was to block the arrival of those high-level existences and let the players fend for themselves. Li Cheng deeply understood the notion that flowers in a greenhouse could never grow. The human race could not grow without experiencing some hardships. If it was before, Li Cheng would have been a hot-blooded boy. However, after knowing the happenings of the lost continent, the world that the gods lived in, as well as the existence of other universes, he understood the insignificance of the human race. He had to fight for it himself. Li Cheng looked at the city that was still filled with smoke and muttered to himself. Bottomless abyss? I'll go there when I have the time. Demon kings, prepare to welcome my arrival. Everything that happened here instantly attracted the attention of the entire world. In this era of high-level technological development, any slight movement would alarm the entire world. In almost an instant, loads of information and videos were sent to the Internet. Although this news was immediately blocked by the authorities, the information still spread like wildfire. For a moment, everyone was stunned. F asterisk CK, that's Netherworld. It has already been discovered. Netherworld's name is Li Cheng, an unemployed vagabond. He wasn't a gaming expert before. Forget about Netherworld's identity. What he did was unimaginable. Oh my god, half of this city has been blown up. Brothers, I can guarantee that this is definitely not a bomb. Everyone, take a look at the surveillance video. Isn't this portal the same as what Netherworld summoned in the game? Oh my god, what's going on? Almost in an instant, everyone realized the severity of the situation. Millions of people were vaporized. In addition to the video that was not photoshopped, a thought appeared in their minds at the same time. Could everything in the game be brought to the real world? How could this be possible? They were not characters living in a novel world. It was just a game, but what happened in front of them made them waver. After this incident, the entire world fell into chaos. Countless people tried to bring the abilities in the game to the real world, but the results were obvious. None of them succeeded. Li Cheng naturally could not be bothered by the thoughts of others. If it was not for him, the demons would have opened up a passageway, and once they invaded Earth, it would definitely be a whole different level of destruction. At this moment, Li Cheng looked at Pearl. Crystal clear tears streaked across her pure white face. There was not much sadness or joy on her face. The tears seemed to make Pearl look somewhat lost. The demon king who descended had self-detonated. Li Cheng really could not think of how heartless war soul could have survived the explosion. Pearl's hatred naturally ended here. Li Cheng wiped away her tears and asked, How do you feel? Pearl slowly shook her head. I'm somewhat relieved and also somewhat confused. If you're confused, then set a goal for yourself. Li Cheng said as he smiled. What? For example, work hard to be a good wife and mother. 
one. When she heard this, Pearl's fair and tender face instantly turned red. Then, she softly said, yes. Soon, Li Cheng left the exploding city. Under Pearl's guidance, they instantly arrived in another city. Li Cheng looked at the world where the alarm was ringing loudly. He casually waved his hand and a faint mist instantly enveloped the surrounding ten kilometers. In the shadow of the mist, it was absolutely impossible for a human to tell directions with their mental strength. It would be good if they did not directly crash into a wall after entering. Li Cheng looked at the tall building in front of him. It was an ordinary residential unit and not some overly luxurious residential area. Pearl said, 19th floor, West House. Li Cheng waved his hand again, and the spatial fluctuation descended again. After that, the two of them appeared in the house that Pearl was talking about. There was a faint fragrance floating in the air. Li Cheng seemed to have smelled it somewhere before. Soon, Li Cheng was pulled into a bedroom by Pearl. The bedroom was pink in color. It was obviously a girl's boudoir. Chapter 295, The End of Science is Metaphysics In the bedroom, there was a gaming pod. In the gaming pod was Purple Rose's sleeping face. This was the first time Li Cheng had seen Purple Rose's true appearance. He had to admit that as a famous guild leader known for her beauty, her beauty was not exaggerated. However, Li Cheng still rolled his eyes. The commotion he caused in the real world shocked the entire world. Purple Rose still had the mood to play games. He knocked on Purple Rose's gaming pod, and the warning sound in the game startled her. She quickly logged out of the game. And then... Ah! A high decibel scream almost broke Li Cheng's eardrums. Purple Rose was naturally frightened by the sudden appearance of the two of them. Soon, her gaze stopped on Pearl's face. Purple Rose said in surprise, You're Pearl. Pearl nodded. Yes, it's me. Purple Rose was stunned. She was not very familiar with Pearl. In the past, she had only invited her to join the Rose Guild and they had only met once. Of course, Pearl rejected her invitation outright. She knew very well that Rose would never make an enemy out of Heartless War Soul just because of her. Soon, Purple Rose's gaze fell on Li Cheng. You are. Li Cheng smiled. Who do you think I am? Purple Rose's exquisite face was stunned. She was silent for a few seconds before she exclaimed, Netherworld. Call me Li Cheng. He shrugged. Anyway. His identity in the real world had already been exposed. Everyone probably knew when he went to kindergarten and when he wet the bed. Purple Rose nodded and then asked a series of questions. Did you really cause that explosion? The video on the internet, is it real? Can the two worlds really merge? Hearing her words, Li Cheng picked his ears. When he first met Purple Rose, he still remembered how noisy she was. Li Cheng immediately said, Yes, it's real. Purple Rose's eyes instantly widened. She was originally in the game to raid a secret realm and was currently fighting with the boss. Her team had witnessed everything that happened in the real world. While they were shocked, they still felt that clearing the secret realm was more important. Hence, they continued fighting with the boss. However, Purple Rose was dragged out of the game by Li Cheng and Pearl. At this time, Purple Rose came back to her senses. As she tried to get out of the game cabin, Pearl quickly went up to support her. Li Cheng's eyelids twitched. What happened to your leg? Purple Rose ignored Li Cheng and struggled to sit up. Pearl looked around and asked, Where's your wheelchair? Purple Rose thought for a moment and said, I think it's in the bathroom. I haven't been back to the real world for a long time. Li Cheng was silent as he stopped Pearl. Purple Rose's game cabin was custom made. The groove for the nutrient solution was much bigger than the usual game cabin. As long as the nutrient solution was filled, she would not have to come out for a few years. Li Cheng was slightly surprised. No wonder Purple Rose stayed in the game all day long. Li Cheng had thought that she was a gaming maniac. Now, 
it seemed that Purple Rose did not want to appear in reality. Purple Rose saw Li Cheng's reaction and bit her lip. She asked, I was born this way. What? Are you disappointed to see me like this? Li Cheng was stunned. He did not expect Purple Rose to ask this question. He smiled and said, No wonder your body's so flat. You live on nutrient solutions every day. It'd be weird if you could develop humps. Purple Rose's fair face instantly turned red. She gritted her teeth and scolded, Come here. What? Li Cheng was confused as he walked forward. TL bite you to death. Li Cheng smiled. Now, it seemed that Purple Rose's body was very small. Under her pink pajamas, it was almost like an airport, making her flatness even more obvious than in the game. Nutrient fluids could maintain a person's physiological characteristics, but compared to normal development, it was still very different. While Li Cheng's arm felt like it was being torn apart, Purple Rose almost broke her teeth. With Li Cheng's current physique, he would be fine even if he took a bullet, not to mention a bite from the malnourished Purple Rose. Purple Rose rubbed her cheeks and scolded, You're definitely thinking about something shameful. Li Cheng did not say anything. Instead, he looked at her legs that were hidden under her pajamas. He grabbed Purple Rose's feet. The temperature that he felt from them was normal, no different from a normal person. However, he frowned and asked, Don't you feel anything? No Purple Rose's face turned red again. Let go of me. Li Cheng was silent and his hands did not move. As Li Cheng remained silent, the room instantly became quiet. Ten seconds later, Purple Rose's voice was heard. What are you looking at? She bit her pale pink lips and waited for Li Cheng. Then, she said, I don't need your pity. Li Cheng shook his head and said, You're very strong, why would you need the pity of others? With such a body, Purple Rose had developed the Rose Guild into a colossus from scratch. Why would she need the pity of others? Li Cheng was thinking about other things. Suddenly, Li Cheng carried Purple Rose out of the game cabin. Her body was very light, and she did not look like an adult woman at all. Purple Rose's face instantly turned red as she immediately struggled, What are you doing? TM treating you, Li Cheng answered without thinking. Purple Rose was stunned. Then, she felt a warm current in her heart. She did not realize that this impolite man could suddenly be so serious. Then, Purple Rose shook her head dejectedly. It's useless. If it could be treated, I would have been cured long ago. Indeed. Purple Rose had made a fortune by playing games, and her net worth was now in the hundreds of millions. She had been to all kinds of hospitals and doctors but her condition was congenital. With the current science and technology, it was indeed impossible to treat it. Li Cheng seemed to know what Purple Rose was thinking. He smiled and said, Do you want to know something? What is it? Purple Rose asked. The end of science is metaphysics. Metaphysics can do everything that science can't do. Chapter 296 If you can't do it, don't. The end of science is metaphysics. Metaphysics can do everything that science can't do. Hearing this, Purple Rose was naturally confused. She did not understand what Li Cheng was saying. Li Cheng did not say anything more to her. He immediately said in his heart, Goddess, open the passage. Okay, the Goddess of Space replied. In the next moment, the originally exquisite room suddenly experienced a distortion in space instantly shrinking and transforming into a spinning invisible teleportation door. Li Cheng gave Pearl a look before carrying Purple Rose and walking into the portal. At the Lost Continent, in a medium-sized guild secret realm. Countless Rose players were leading their troops, waiting in boredom. Sis, did something happen? Why did you suddenly go offline? The explosion in the real world. Many of our sisters suddenly went offline. We don't know what happened. El saw on the news that the explosion blew up half the city. Isn't that too terrifying? Wow could this be true? 
I thought it was just fake news to attract attention. Who'd be so bold to use this to attract people's attention? Why don't we disperse? The sisters in the group are going crazy. But, we've been saving up for many days to open this medium-sized guild secret realm. Unlike the extreme god guild with Li Cheng, Rose's guild funds had always been in short supply. Opening this medium-sized guild secret realm had indeed cost a lot. At this moment, a teleportation gate suddenly appeared in front of them. All the Rose players were stunned. What was going on? Could it be that a new boss had appeared? In the next moment, Li Cheng walked out with Purple Rose and Pearl. All the Rose members looked as if they had seen a ghost. Li Cheng's attire was very normal here. He was wearing his own Forbidden Mage set. The only difference was that he did not wear a mask. But, what were Purple Rose and Pearl wearing? Purple Rose was wearing a pink nightgown patterned with a few cute dolls on it. At this time, her hair was disheveled. She buried her face in Li Cheng's arms, not daring to meet her guild members. Pearl looked even more ridiculous. She wore a tight-fitting white shirt, jeans, and a pair of high heels. At this moment, the members of the Rose Guild wondered if this was part of the game. The Lost Continent did not have such costumes. The members of the Rose Guild were in a mess. Could it be that the two worlds can really merge? F asterisk CK, why is he hugging Big Sis? What's the big deal? Is it weird that Netherworld's hugging Big Sis? She already gave him her dowry. Ah uh, that's true. Purple Rose's mouth twitched in Li Cheng's embrace. Was it weird? However, her expression became serious. She could feel that her legs were still paralyzed, but she was clearly in the game. A series of notifications rang in her ears, welcoming her to continue playing the game. At the thought of this, she felt an inexplicable sense of fear and her hands turned cold. Entering the game allowed one to gain the experience of a normal person. This had been a promotional point in the history of online gaming in recent years, and it had given many disabled people renewed hope in life. Purple Rose was no exception. She had also experienced the life of a normal person in the game. This made her feel that she was not inferior to others. Li Cheng noticed Purple Rose's discomfort and said gently, Don't worry, trust me. Hearing this, Purple Rose nodded and her body relaxed again. When Li Cheng was about to take her away, Purple Rose suddenly said, Wait. What else do you want? Li Cheng did not understand. There was nothing to do here. Purple Rose pointed at a big bear not far away and said, Kill this boss first. The corner of Li Cheng's mouth twitched. He rolled his eyes and waved his hand. Instantly, countless shadow assassins appeared. They did not hesitate to teleport behind the boss. A second later, the system notification rang in everyone's ears. Ding, dong. Your team has killed an epic boss. After returning to the Lost Continent, there would naturally be a system notification when they killed a monster. Meanwhile, Rose's players widened their eyes in shock. F asterisk CK. They had been clearing the dungeon for a few hours, yet they had not made any progress at all. Now, the boss had actually been killed so easily by Li Cheng's soldiers? How was this supposed to be played? After dealing with the boss, Li Cheng immediately brought Purple Rose to the City of Light. As for Pearl, she was teleported back to her own territory. After the boss died, they thought that the exploration of the Rose Guild was completed. However, all the members finally reacted. F asterisk CK, this is our guild's secret realm. How did Netherworld get in? Did he just steal our boss? I think so. However, our secret realm has been considered to be cleared. Moreover, Netherworld did not pick up any equipment. We'll probably be fine after half an hour. That's not important, okay? What's important is that Netherworld has kidnapped our big sister. And she's wearing pajamas. Did Netherworld go look for her in the real world? My mind's a bit confused right now. I need to go offline for a while after I pick up the equipment in half an hour. Same here. 
With such a guess, the hearts of the few core members suddenly thumped. They knew what was going on with Purple Rose's body. She was a young girl in the real world. Who knew if he could have really kidnapped her? But on second thought, Purple Rose's bashful look just now did not seem like she was being coerced. When they thought of this, they shook their heads. Since they could not do anything about it, they might as well just leave it be. Moreover, their big sister had already given him her dowry. Li Cheng was directly teleported to the Church of Space in the City of Light. There were still not many believers here, so he did not care about the mileage and directly walked toward the Church of Light. Purple Rose suddenly called out to him, Wait I need to change my clothes. Purple Rose was still wearing her pajamas. Although it was not sexy but a rather cute one, she did not want to be seen by others. Change, then. Li Cheng nodded to show that he understood. Purple Rose was stunned. Change. This man was too shameless. If he wanted to see a girl change her clothes, he should at least try to be more subtle. I've never seen such a shameless person. Purple Rose said angrily, then let go of me. Can you do it? Why don't I help you? You're welcome by the way, Li Cheng said with a smile. Chapter 297, Deliver Yourself to the Door Looking at Li Cheng's wretched appearance, Purple Rose bit on Li Cheng's arm again. But this time, Purple Rose felt much better. Up until now, she and Pearl had been deeply integrated with the game world. Although their attributes were not that high, they were definitely many times stronger than ordinary people. Of course, this bit of bite was not painful for Li Cheng. He rolled his eyes and carried her into a priestess's room. Do you need me to find a maid to serve you? Purple Rose rolled her eyes at Li Cheng. Isn't it just putting equipment into the equipment bar? Do you think I'm an idiot? Li Cheng smiled playfully. What about underwear? Hearing this, Purple Rose was stunned. She had already integrated with the game world and needed to live here. The system did not give her many details of anything else. Seeing Purple Rose's appearance, Li Cheng also smiled and said, Get used to it slowly. I'll get someone to bring some clothes over. With the integration of the two worlds, not only could he bring everything in the game into the real world, but he also had to try to change the way he lived. Li Cheng paused and suddenly asked, Speaking of which, have you changed your clothes in the last few years? Purple Rose's face instantly turned red. She looked at Li Cheng with a vicious gaze. Do you want to die? Her clothes, on the other hand, had not been changed for half a month. The problem was that the nutrient solution maintained the human body with a very special metabolic mechanism. It would secrete some substances on the surface of the body. The current technology of humans had been migrated to outer space and their research on the human body was very outstanding. In short, there would not be any smelly or dirty clothes. The main thing was, was it really appropriate for Li Cheng to say this to a girl? Therefore, Li Cheng did not continue to tease her. He casually called two priests over, who quickly came with some new clothes. As for Li Cheng, he was naturally kicked out of the room by Purple Rose. In less than a minute, Purple Rose's body was wrapped in a tight leather suit. It was a ranger suit that was very common in the Lost Continent. Purple Rose looked at the clothes on her body and muttered, It feels a little different. Li Cheng had a deep understanding of this and explained, The material, the touch, these are details that couldn't be felt in the past. Now, you can feel it. After changing her clothes, Li Cheng did not say much. He picked her up again. Her weight was still frighteningly light. Perhaps it was because the explosion of more than half of the city was too outrageous that there were not many players in the City of Light. It was likely that these players had gone offline to understand the situation. 1. Seeing Li Cheng's arrival, the paladin's pupils shrank. They hurriedly bowed. Greetings, Duke Netherworld. Duke Netherworld, please, come in. The interior of the church was still holy and magnificent. Li Cheng quickly found his target, 
the young girl who was praying in front of the statue. Asilia's eyes were closed and her young face was full of piety. Li Cheng was not in a hurry, so he just waited quietly. A few minutes later, Asilia finished her prayer and turned her head to look at Li Cheng. Li Cheng raised his eyebrows at her. He saw a trace of disappointment and pain in Asilia's innocent eyes. However, she quickly masked her expression and asked, Duke Netherworld, who is this sister? Li Cheng took a deep breath and did not say anything more. He asked, Can you cure her leg? Asilia stared at Purple Rose for a while and cast a few divine spells. The holy light fell, but Purple Rose's leg remained the same. Asilia tried again and again, but the result was still the same. She sighed and said, The light can cure injuries, but it can't regenerate dead limbs. If you want to cure this sister's leg, I'm afraid you'll have to find Her Highness, the Goddess of Life. Hearing this, Li Cheng nodded. This was as expected. The God of Light's job was not to cure diseases. It was just his part-time job. Li Cheng's purpose was very simple. He came here to try out an option he had in mind. If he could cure it here, it would save him a lot of trouble. Seeing that the Church of Light could not cure Purple Rose's leg, Li Cheng planned to leave. Duke Netherworld Asilia suddenly called out to him. Li Cheng looked at Asilia. Her pale pink lips moved, but she did not say anything. Looking at Asilia's conflicted face, Li Cheng also sighed. He could guess what Asilia was thinking. The good camp had probably noticed his recent actions. In the rules of the good camp, Li Cheng's actions had directly or indirectly killed countless beings. Naturally, this went against the teachings of the good camp. Li Cheng rubbed Asilia's small head and said softly, You don't need to be conflicted, and you don't need to suffer. Just follow your heart. Li Cheng thought for a moment and continued, If you think that I'm wrong, you can come and attack me. On account of our friendship, I won't attack you. Of course, it'll be different for those paladins. Hearing this, Asilia puffed up her face in dissatisfaction. Was he so sure that they would definitely lose? Instantly, Asilia became angry. Then, what if I go alone? Li Cheng was stunned. Come alone? Was it for free? Asilia was a priest. She could still heal, but if she went on stage to fight, it was better to forget about it. It was like sending a man's head a thousand miles away. Therefore, Li Cheng said fiercely, LL tie you up and hang you from the ceiling. Asilia pouted and stretched out her slender arms. She said unhappily, then come. Tie me up now. Seeing Asilia like this, Li Cheng was silent. From today on, I'm going to your territory, Duke Netherworld. Seeing Li Cheng's appearance, the corners of Asilia's mouth curled up slightly. 2. Li Cheng was a little puzzled. You're a holy maiden of the Church of Light. Why are you coming to my territory? Are you going to be my hostage? Asilia seemed to see through Li Cheng's doubts and continued, As a holy maiden, I'm going to supervise your actions, Duke Netherworld. Hearing this, Li Cheng almost laughed out loud. It would be strange if he could be supervised by this little girl. Moreover, if she wanted to supervise him, she had to have the corresponding strength. Otherwise, she would merely be holding on to her own pigtails. If you want to come, then come. In any case, it's not a problem for you to have a full stomach. However, you're not allowed to convert believers in my territory. Otherwise, I'll teach you a lesson. Also, you can call me Li Cheng in the future. Hearing this, Asilia's eyes lit up and she hurriedly nodded. Chapter 298, Are You the Child's Father? When he left the City of Light, Li Cheng frowned. The Goddess of Life was not easy to find. She was really mysterious, similar to the Goddess of Space. She was also an ancient god that had existed since the beginning of the universe. She had already merged with the Law of Life. As long as this universe was still around, the Goddess of Life was immortal. 
When he thought of this, Li Cheng asked directly in his heart, Goddesses, do any of you know the Goddess of Life? Telephany and Ella decisively chose to remain silent. With their strength, they really could not come into contact with an existence of that level. Soon, the expression from the Goddess of Death appeared in his mind. Number 7 Number Seeing this, Li Cheng was stunned. He had forgotten about this. The Goddess of Death and the Goddess of Life were considered enemies. They would probably recognize each other, but if they spoke, the Goddess of Life probably would not want to pay attention to them. On the contrary, it was the same. Logic The current Goddess of Death, which was Lin, was not the first generation of the Goddess of Death. However, her divine power was closely related to death. The more people died every day, the stronger her divine power would be. The Goddess of Life was the opposite. The more living creatures, the stronger her divine power would be. Was this not a contradiction? The Goddess of Space's answer came very quickly. I haven't seen her for a long time, but I know where her divine kingdom is. Li Cheng took a deep breath. Finally, he had a reliable person. Then, he said in a deep voice, let's go and find her. Even if he wanted to start a war with her, he had to win this round. Soon, Li Cheng returned to his own territory. He quickly gathered all the heroes and soldiers, including Lillian. He was ready to summon the soldiers of the Shadow World at any time. If it still did not work, he would ask Lillian to use her transformation skill again. Although they were not going to fight this time, Li Cheng knew very well that without the corresponding strength, they would not even have the right to negotiate a deal. At the same time, the goddesses were ready, especially the goddess of death. She really wanted to fight the goddess of life directly. Seeing this, Purple Rose was shocked. Except for Pearl, who was guarding the territory, Li Cheng had mobilized almost all of his strength. Purple Rose grabbed Li Cheng's sleeve and whispered, Li Cheng, why don't we just forget about it? She did not want Li Cheng to go to war with the ancient god for her. Even if he had to put on a show, it would not work. The goddess of life was not an ordinary god. No one knew how strong she was now. Li Cheng shook his head decisively. Impossible. I won't let you go on like this. I also promised you I'd cure your leg so I must do it. Purple Rose's expression changed slightly. She bit her lip and said, We're not even in a relationship. You don't have to do this for me. Li Cheng was stunned. What about your promise? This time, it was Purple Rose's turn to be stunned. Her little head was full of question marks. Did she promise him something? Why was she not aware of it? Moreover, the yes at this time was different from an ordinary yes. He put on such a big show. How could an ordinary friend do it? Didn't you? Li Cheng also asked curiously. Did I? Looking at Li Cheng's determined eyes, Purple Rose was a little confused for a moment. Then, the two of them stared at each other. After about ten seconds, Li Cheng brought up the official tribe forum and searched for Netherworld and Purple Rose. Then, a lot of posts appeared. Top 10 Signs of the Love Between Netherworld and Purple Rose Netherworld and Purple Rose are too touching. Congratulations on the marriage between the two guilds. Extreme God Guild has once again supported Rose Guild. Both of them took down wild bosses together. It is indeed an enviable love between gods. The secret of Netherworld and Purple Rose's relationship has been revealed. When did they date? When she saw this, Purple Rose's face instantly tummed red. She gritted her teeth and said, You know, these are all rumors. They magnified it based on a small matter. Li Cheng also smiled and said, Then, why didn't you refute them? When she heard this, Purple Rose was instantly stunned. How was she supposed to refute this kind of thing? If she did, it would only make things worse. The players liked it when you refuted their speculations, okay? Was giving them the cold treatment not the best way? 
or this man in front of her did not have any experience in this area. Li Cheng merely shrugged. I don't care. From now on, I'll take it as an agreement. At this moment, Purple Rose quieted down. She bit her lip and said, I said, I don't need your pity. If you pity me because of my body, then there's no need for that. I've been here for so many years. It's not a problem for me to continue. Besides, this won't affect me at all. Li Cheng also said seriously, this isn't pity. Purple Rose suddenly asked, then, do you like me? Li Cheng nodded truthfully, a little. Purple Rose's eyes were shining. She bit her lip and her chest heaved up and down. Clearly, her heart was not calm. Didn't you find me annoying? Didn't you find me weak? Or are you just interested in my body and appearance? Li Cheng sighed when he heard this. Purple Rose's heart was too fragile. After a while, Li Cheng replied, Purple Rose, you wear a mask all day long. Who knows what you look like? And with that body of yours, what is there for me to want? When a child dreams of her father, can you hold the child? Are you the child's father? Purple Rose was stunned. Then, she bit Li Cheng's arm again. Li Cheng smiled and pinched her face. Don't think too much. There are still many days ahead. What we need to do now is to cure your leg. Purple Rose nodded obediently. Okay. At this time, Li Cheng and Purple Rose saw countless pairs of bright eyes. There were many light bulbs around them. The goddess of space looked indifferent, but she said sourly, aren't you going to continue the discussion? Li Cheng looked calm. We're done. Let's go then. The goddess of space snorted faintly and waved her hand. Suddenly, a dazzling five-colored portal appeared. Looking at the portal, Li Cheng raised his eyebrows. This teleportation portal directly crushed the surrounding space and tore it apart. When he saw this, Li Cheng immediately cast a scouting spell. Chapter 299 Goddess of Life Brilliant Supreme Portal Description, The Supreme Teleportation Portal from the Goddess of Space It can be used to teleport to any corner of the known universe. Teleportation portals usually had a limit. This was the first time Li Cheng had seen a Supreme Teleportation Portal. He led his troops and walked in. Immediately, the system's voice rang in his ears. Ding, dong. You've entered a special area. For unknown reasons, all units will recover 10% of their HP every second. Ding, dong. This area belongs to the Goddess of Life's Divine Kingdom. Your arrival will be deemed as a malicious invasion. Please be on your guard. As the system's voice fell, a large patch of vibrant grass appeared in front of Li Cheng. The countless blades of green grass were emitting a faint gentle light. Not far away in the distant and clear sky, an extremely large divine kingdom was floating in the sky. Holy and pure buildings could be faintly seen. Seeing this, Li Cheng took a deep breath. The building floating in the sky was naturally the divine kingdom of the goddess of life. Li Cheng then cast a scouting spell on the grass in front of him. Grass of Life Description the weeds growing around the Goddess of Life's Divine Kingdom are illuminated by the Goddess of Life's Divine Power all year round. The silver mirror hides the Goddess of Life's Divine Power. Level, 1. Grade, Legendary. Effect, 1 unit heals 30,000 thousand HP. Seeing the attributes of the Grass of Life, Purple Rose let out a cry of surprise. Even Li Cheng was slightly surprised. Although it was used for single target recovery, the recovery value was extremely high. Li Cheng did not expect that the grass near the Goddess of Life's Divine Kingdom would have such an effect. It really lived up to the Goddess's name. However, Li Cheng rolled his eyes and wiped the corner of Purple Rose's mouth who was still in his embrace. Pay attention to your image. Your drool is about to overflow. Purple Rose's small face instantly tummed red as she shouted, as if. At that moment, countless figures with holy auras suddenly appeared in the air. 
They were so densely packed that one could not see where the group ended. There had to be at least tens of millions of them. They were all women wearing pure white robes. They had staffs in their hands that were emitting a gentle light. At the same time, they were riding Pegasi with pure white wings. Who are you? Why did you invade the goddess's divine kingdom? Li Cheng cast a scouting spell to check the attributes of these soldiers. Divine Holy Life Cavalry Description, Divine Soldiers from the Goddess's Divine Kingdom They are agile and have been maintaining the security of the Goddess's Divine Kingdom for tens of thousands of years. They have once wreaked havoc on the battlefield of countless demons. They are extremely powerful. Level Grade Other than a description, Li Cheng could not obtain any information about the soldiers in front of him. This was completely within his expectations. Divine soldiers were a unique type of soldier among the gods. Their attributes were naturally far superior to the ordinary soldiers from the main plane. Of course, they were not much better than the crown soldiers. The strength of a divine soldier was in the use of rules and divine power. Producing a divine soldier required divine power. For example, two trash goddesses naturally would not have divine soldiers. However, the goddess of life was different. Her divine power was probably overflowing, so producing a pile of divine weapons was naturally not a problem for her. However, all divine weapons had a restriction. Cows could not enter the main plane. This was not a rule between gods, but a restriction left behind by the god of creation. No god could break it, even the powerful goddess of darkness and the goddess of life were no exception. Li Cheng replied, I want to see Her Highness the Goddess of Life. A female petitioner in front of him immediately replied, Her Highness the Goddess doesn't want to see anyone. Human, I don't know how you came here, but please go back to the main plane immediately. Hearing this, Li Cheng narrowed his eyes and then he took a deep breath. Not seeing the Goddess of Life was not acceptable. He was already being polite. Perhaps it was because he did not make enough noise. When he thought of this, the nine hammers of doom appeared in Li Cheng's hand. He narrowed his eyes slightly and prepared for the descent of the four goddesses. The best move for gods was to use divine power skills. Wait. At this time, a soft female voice passed through the clouds and entered everyone's ears. Just hearing this voice made people feel as if they were being brushed by a spring breeze making their hearts feel warm. The owner of the voice was naturally the goddess of life. Her voice resounded again. Let them in. Yes, your highness. The divine soldiers in the sky then cleared a path for them. Li Cheng took a deep breath and rode on Sylvia, heading toward the divine kingdom in the sky. It was not that he was unafraid of the goddess of life's trap, it was just that at her level, he was disdainful about playing such a small trick. Ding, dong. You've entered the goddess of life's divine kingdom, the flower bed of life. Within this region, your body will stop aging and your HP will be permanently maxed out. As the system's voice fell, Li Cheng and Purple Rose were startled. Permanently maxed out HP? Was that not too f asterisking ridiculous? What was the difference between this and invincibility? 3. Hearing this notification, the two of them took a deep breath. The goddess of life was indeed a terrifying existence that had almost maxed out her divine power. Li Cheng began sizing up the scene before him. Countless dazzling buildings were floating in the sky. The architectural style in the divine kingdom was somewhat similar to that of Mage City, but this place was more sacred and solemn. Very soon, Li Cheng arrived at the center of the divine kingdom. There was an extremely large palace. In front of this palace, a petite figure was standing tall. Seeing this figure, Li Cheng's eyelids jumped. Even though he had lived two lifetimes, he had never seen the true body of the goddess of life before. Although her face was covered by divine power, so much so that people could not see it clearly, Li Cheng really did not expect that the goddess of life, this old lady, would have such a lowly image. After becoming a god, one's own image could be changed at will. However, 
gods usually maintained the most perfect image in their hearts. For example, Ella maintained her image from the profound empire. However, some goddesses did not have this habit. Instead, they all changed their bodies. For example, the goddess of dawn was rumored to appear in front of people sometimes as a big sister, sometimes as a lowly, and sometimes as an old lady. The goddess of life looked at Li Cheng and said angrily, How dare you come to me like this? Chapter 300 Accepting the Mission, Demon's End Hearing this, Li Cheng was stunned. He even thought about it carefully. He had never offended the goddess of life, right? She continued to ask, How could you kill so many lives? Li Cheng fell silent. It seemed that his actions of killing countless lives had made the goddess of life extremely unhappy. Therefore, Li Cheng answered, To become stronger. The goddess of life continued to ask, So what? How does it count as becoming stronger? Your territory has no opponents in the lost continent. Even ordinary gods are not your opponents. At the same time, you also have countless beautiful women by your side. Why do you still want to kill so many lives? At this point, she snorted and continued, When the universe was born, the god of creation did not abide by the so-called fairness when he created countless races. Some lives are powerful, like the angel race. They roam the entire universe wantonly, while others are very weak. Why can't you do your part? So what if you become a god? Won't you still fall into endless disputes? Hearing this, Li Cheng's expression turned cold. What the goddess of life said was completely based on the theory of the god of creation. Although it was not all bad, there was also some paranoia. According to what she said, humans were born weak, so they should become the food of those powerful races. They should be at their disposal, and humans should be slaves? Born weak? F asterisk CK that. Children would compare their grades with other children when they were young, their incomes after graduation, and their children after becoming parents. When they were old, they still had to compare which family's children were more filial. When the goddess of life said that everyone should do their part, Li Cheng wanted to curse. When had humans ever surrendered and not fought for themselves? Thinking of this, Li Cheng's body emitted cold killing intent. Your Highness, you were born to be the strongest god. Naturally, you can't understand our situation. For us, every day is a struggle with heaven. Only by becoming stronger can we survive. Otherwise, everything's a fantasy and a fairy tale. The goddess of life's expression did not change at all. She shook her head and said, Forget it. Your thoughts are already fixed. I don't want to refute anything. Humans, tell me your intentions and return to your lost continent. Li Cheng looked at the purple rose in his arms and said, I hope you can cure her. Upon hearing this, the goddess of life smiled and said, You've always focused on your own gain, but now you want to start a war with me because of a human? Even if I cure her, how will it help you with your strength? Hearing this, Li Cheng fell silent. He was slightly surprised. It seemed that the goddess of life was quite concerned about him. However, just as she had said, it was not worth it to start a war with her over Purple Rose. Nevertheless, Li Cheng always followed his heart. If he did not dare to do so after being reborn, what was the point of being reborn? Not every question had an answer, and not every answer was either right or wrong. Being overly conflicted would only make him tired of living. The goddess of life looked into the distant sky, shook her head, and said, Forget it, space goddess. Even if he's the person you're looking for, so what if I place a bet? As she finished speaking, the goddess of life gently waved her hand. At the same time, a gentle light instantly enveloped Purple Rose. In the next moment, even before Purple Rose could react, the gentle light had already dissipated. At the same time, Purple Rose's status bar had gained an additional skill. It was the goddess of life's advanced blessing. Purple Rose did not immediately check the attributes of the skill. Instead, 
she tried moving her legs. Then, she kicked Li Cheng in the face. Li Cheng was instantly speechless. Damn it, the first thing she did after her legs were healed was to kick herself? Purple Rose was shocked and quickly apologized, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Li Cheng naturally did not take it to heart. Instead, he asked in concern, forget it, can you move your legs now? Yes. Purple Rose carefully got down from Li Cheng's arms. Then, she held his hand and tried to walk a few steps. She walked unsteadily, and if Li Cheng was not holding her hand, she would have probably fallen to the ground. Still, Purple Rose's eyes were flashing with joy. Unlike the illusory feeling in the game, her legs were completely healed. Seeing that Purple Rose could walk on her own, Li Cheng turned to the Goddess of Life and said, Tell me, Your Highness, what are your conditions? There was no free lunch in the world, and Li Cheng knew it best. Moreover, he did not know what the Goddess of Life was doing here. The Goddess of Life replied, When you attack the demons, call me. As soon as she finished speaking, the system notification rang in Li Cheng's ears. Ding, dong. The Goddess of Life has issued you an SSS class mission, Demon's End. Do you accept it? Li Cheng naturally accepted the mission. Then, he immediately opened the mission panel to check its details. Demon's End. Mission Description, The demons have always been the enemy of the entire universe. The Goddess of Life hopes that you can fight with her when you fight against the demon race. Mission Nature, Only Hidden. Mission Difficulty. Mission Details. Mission Duration, None. Mission Reward. When he saw this mission, Li Cheng was stunned. There was such a good thing in the world? This was also the condition that the Goddess of Life proposed after the exchange of benefits? It was unavoidable for him to start a war with the demons. Li Cheng had never thought that the Goddess of Life would also participate in it. This was the best thing that could happen. Li Cheng really wanted to say, please give me 10,000 similar missions. Thank you. Demons were an invasive species from the outer universe. Countless creatures in the universe had died at their hands. Naturally, the Goddess of Life had long disliked them. During the great war between gods and demons, the demons had even attacked the goddess of life's divine kingdom. Naturally, the demons had failed in the end. As for Li Cheng himself, he did not have a good impression of the demons at all. In his previous life, he had fallen under the encirclement of the demons. If he did not take revenge, this was not Li Cheng's personality. A great war with the demons was unavoidable. 